You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time right now for the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. And we got Mr. Ferris in the studio. Here, uh, how you doing, sir? What are we, wow. <laughs> doing? I don't know what I'm talking about. Smooth as a train wreck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> today, Monday, Tuesday, is, Wednesday. I, I don't know. What today I is. think it's Friday, but again, holidays, yeah. holidays, always, especially when they fall in the middle of the week. Which, I know. Course, it's a, yeah, you just kind of dis. Yeah, it makes everything for tough. There are a lot of people who have a day off today, and I should be one of them. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. So I, I trust uh, Christmas was. Uh, it was, was, was lovely. Very thanks for having me over You're Christmas welcome. Eve, by the way. It was, it was nice. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Someday. Wow. Heidi, seriously, you're going to make some guy a really good wife someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> she already does. Someday. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, what's the baby? Of course, the biggest movie on the planet right now is the 800th and 27th episode of Star Wars. Oh, yeah. There is going gangbusters. People uh, liking that? On a sad note. Oh. It was three years ago today, today, 2016, that uh, that Carrie Fisher oh. passed yeah, away. Yeah. That's too bad. Princess Leia, of course, yeah. as yeah. you know. Now, have they, and again, I haven't seen it, but I guess, or she is somehow in these new ones, they're using... Probably digital dig- images yeah. from previous movies. Yeah, as I saw, just kind of a, just a real brief, quickie glance at an interview with uh, one of her surviving brothers. Oh. Apparently hmm. said, yes, yeah, she would have wanted it that way. And I, oh. Well, how do you know? I don't know. Right, how do you know? Well, you know <laughs> you're you're just, just cashing in a little bit there. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that you saw an interview with her. Yeah. I'm like, how'd they do that? person who's also kind of sort of related to Prince. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those people. And this is a huge, huge day as well in history. This day in 1845, ether is first used in the childbirth situation. Oh, wow. In the United States, Jefferson, uh, Georgia. 18 hmm. four, yeah, then they just started knocking moms out, huh. which I was awesome. That. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, now they just kind of let you, you know, flop around on there. That ain't right. Uh, <laughs> Not when there's an alternative. And then they invite the dads in, and hey, dads, I've been there twice. Uh, it's a trick. <laughs> do not it's go a, do in. Do not go in <laughs> that room. I was in there. <laughs> it was interesting. And if you go to Lamaze classes, yeah, you can throw all that out the window, too. <laughs> It's not real true. life. Yeah. That's not how it really goes she, down. She does not want another ice chip, and she don't want to squeeze the little rubber ball. <laughs> Just leave the room. Well, thank uh, you for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris right here on Sunny. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but it can also be expensive. One survey found 44% of shoppers racked up more than $1,000 in holiday debt last year, and 5% accumulated more than $5,000 in debt. Are you still paying for last year's Christmas gifts? Maybe you need better credit cards. We'd love to help at bettercreditcards.com. Find a card that's a better fit for your needs. Some like cards with points or miles. Others just want a lower rate. Find what you're looking for at bettercreditcards.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time right now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears in a lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Oh, hi, Dan. John. <laughs> oh, Radio Rangers at home. I hope you, you got through the holidays okay. And I hope Santa Claus gave, uh, gave, you, gave you what you needed. Of course, this time of year... Uh, be thinking about it, and I think we just got a press release from the city of Sioux Falls or your Christmas tree drop off uh, yeah. areas. I don't, I don't know what they are, so I really don't care. I don't deal with that kind of thing. I, <laughs> I decorate a tree out in the woods just like nature meant. There you go. That's right. Okay. This whole thing, but I know a lot of uh, a lot of the mommies and daddies now they're going to be staring at that tree. If you do, in fact, have a real tree, they go, oh, "Darn it." Oh, now we're going to have to find the time to take it down and drag it out and mm-hmm. throw it in the truck or on the car and drive it somewhere and get rid of it. Could take hours. Could take days. Cost thousands of lives. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so we're pretty darn excited to talk about beavers this morning. <laughs> nice. You know, beavers are nature's little engineers. Gosh darn it, they're they're just cute as the dickens and they get the job done. Did you know? Did you know? 
that a beaver can move like 140 big chips of wood from a tree five and a half inches in diameter. In fact, they can fell a tree about a half foot wide in mere minutes. No kidding. Really? Mere minutes. Not days, not hours, but mere minutes. Interesting. Well, this year for Christmas tree removal, proud to announce, just get a hold of Ranger Dan Beaver Rental. Oh, nice. <laughs> For That's just twenty seven ninety five, we'll drop a beaver off right on your doorstep. Just let them in. Be probably a good idea to maybe remove the wooden furniture wherever that <laughs> tree may be. <laughs> we'll set yourself down in the basement or a secure room and let that <laughs> let that beaver do what beavers do. It'll either reduce it to sawdust or Lord knows he may just drag the whole darn thing out with him. There you go. That's all there is to it. When the beaver is done, just show the beaver the door, shut the door. The beaver knows what to do from there. Again, that's just twenty seven ninety five. You can't find this on the. <laughs> You're actually going to have to phone this in to schedule an appointment because we found when you try to dial up Beaver Rental on the internet, you're going to end up places you don't want to be. <laughs> the number is 800 555 Beav. That's 800 555 Beav. About all the time we have this morning, little radio rangers. <laughs> We'll be back next week with more, more great critter knowledge. It's, That's uh, awesome. Aww. School fires up again. You get there, and you get there good, and you get there on time. Pay attention. Go to church, say prayers, eat your vegetables. Don't be playing soccer. Don't let me catch you wearing Crocs. It's Ranger Dan out. Yes, yeah, sir. Again, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner exclusively on Sunny 93.3. This time of year, we have many events that involve alcohol. If you struggle to drink without drinking too much, there is help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at TimeForRehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time right now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, and he's in the studio now, getting all stretched and ready to deliver the best news of the day. Hey, if it's news, it's news to me. John, thank you for that introduction. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, this story was actually released a, a while ago, but I, you know there are so many things I'm working on at once that things sometimes get lost in the shuffle. Sure. But this is kind of neat. There's a... Uh, little group they go by the name of thrill list and they spend their time it's a company that just kind of spans the globe looking for thrilling things that human beings ought to do and then they release their little list every year and Hmm. south dakota's on this list now keep in mind there are only 16 other events or things on the planet that you should uh should put on your thrill list oh wow including and this is some pretty serious stuff. Perhaps you've heard of some of these things that you really ought to super do. Bastille Day in Paris, hmm. the Cherry Blossom Festival in Tokyo, hmm. Carnival in Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago. These are all annual events okay. that take place around the world. So keep that in mind, annual event in South Dakota. What do you think is cool enough to make this list of annual things you got to check out? Sturgis. You would think, but no. Oh, so it's cooler than Sturgis? Uh, according to Thrill List. Okay, what is it? It is. Why, it is the annual bison roundup. Oh, wow. I didn't even know we did an annual bison What? Roundup. What? Huh? It's the Custer State Park Buffalo Roundup. Okay. You need to get out more. Did I know. <laughs> Clearly. Did I know? All the cool kids yeah, know did you about know? It. Have you ever looked in the kennel in my backyard? <laughs> He's round up what, several. You think that's just a giant brown dog? <laughs> Man. Wow. I apologize. You are so in the dark. <laughs> no, this thing is, is huge, and people do come from around the world to witness this thing. Huh. I mean, huh. it it is like going back 100 years of the Old West. Really? The way they set this up, and it gets bigger and bigger every year. Have it is pretty cool. I, I saw, I'm looking at a picture right now. <laughs> That's got to count for something, Heidi. Yeah, I'm not allowed to use power tools or be around livestock. And okay. That's, that's like a federal law <laughs> okay. in my life. Yeah, so, no, I just thought that was kind of neat that of huh. all the annual events that take place around the globe, yeah. these people went, hey, you know what? This thing rocks. This Check it cool. out. Yeah. Interesting. So there you go. Huh. We're going to have to do a buffalo roundup around here. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> Dan's already got one buffalo. Uh, get- <laughs> Guess what we're going to do next? I'm going to be uh, reaching out to Taylor Dane. Oh, no. Yeah. I, uh, 
I did have a crush on Taylor Dane. Well, who didn't? Everybody had a crush yeah, on Taylor Yeah, but I had it first. <laughs> so we've got Taylor Dane and Tiffany at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort tomorrow night. I get to be the MC for that, too, which is really cool. That's but super cool. We're going to be chatting with Taylor Dane in a bit. We'll get some music from Taylor coming up right after this on Sunny 93.3. We all know someone that's a little weird. They're great, but they have a weird sense of humor. If you need to get them a gift for the holidays, be sure to check out weirdgiftoftheday.com. Each morning, we post a different weird item that will make you smile. There's no fee to join and no obligation to buy anything. Just follow our page on Facebook and get a smile each morning. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. Weird gift ideas for your weird friends. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Sunny 93.3, thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. You had music right there from Taylor Dane. And on the phone, we have Taylor Dane. How you doing, Taylor? (laughs) Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Well, I'm super excited to see you tomorrow night at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. We're uh, big fans, and we saw you. I think we talked about this last time, but we saw you at 80s in the Sand in Punta Cana, and you put on one heck of a great show. And I'm so glad that you're oh, going to be here you, tomorrow right? night for a really fun show with Tiffany. Oh, yeah. Tiffany and I are going to hit the stage tomorrow. It's a great, great week. Christmas week. Everybody's out getting ready. New Year's. And so we're going to bring a big show. And obviously, look, all our hits. So it'll be a lot of fun. Now, I've actually had a chance to see each of you perform, but never seen you perform together. So it's going to be kind of a first for us. But for people who've not yet had a chance to see you perform, what can they expect from tomorrow's show? Oh, wow. Well... 30 years, so, I mean, of course, a lot of hits, all my hits, and um, I just feel I just feel so energized going into 2020, a um, couple of, you know, surprises, but nothing crazy, but just a lot of fun, like, you know, everything you expect, prove your love, tell it's my heart, I'll always love you, love will lead you back, we'll be your shelter, so, a lot of energy, and it's great that I'm doing it with Tiffany, it'll be a fun bill, and I just... I just know it, you know? We've done it before. I've seen her all the time over the years. We have a great time out there. Now, in addition to the show tomorrow, I want to make sure we talk a little bit about your tour for next year, 2020. You're part of the Ladies of the 80s tour, and that sounds like that's going to be a whole lot of fun, too. Yeah, I put together, I was, you know, it's just it's just been, this is my 30-year anniversary, now it's 31, and I just wanted to put, and, and continue to think about, you know, women that um, i I you know, worked with and grew up with and that, you know, would really just package greatly. And this, this, you know, we're going out first with, with, with Jody Watley, Lisa Lisa. The hits will be incredible. I mean, everybody I, I've known over the years and when we go out there and we have great shows together and I love this package and Ladies of the 80s and myself, of course, Taylor Dane and we're just going to have a great time. Well, if that makes Band, it to the area here, so, we'll be sure to talk to you again to, to try to get folks out to that. But absolutely. Tomorrow night's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be you and Tiffany, and it's uh, it's kind of a ladies of the '80s mini. Uh, just the two of you, and when I say just the two of you, between the two of you, you could you could play hits for hours, couldn't you? Well, definitely a couple of them. That's what we're counting on. So you know, I mean, it's it's very. I'm, I'm humbled. I'm grateful. Thank you, fans. All these years, you know, thirty years of just incredible. I'm just grateful. You know, it's a time of year, and everybody's out there really enjoying their families and friends, and this, you know, and of course, I'm. I've been blessed to be the soundtrack of many people's lives. So absolutely, I, very you know, blessings, blessings all all day and night. And let's talk a little bit about your life. If people want to know more about you and what you've been up to, you've got a memoir out as well. Where can people find a copy of that? Oh, anywhere, please. Just go on Amazon. Go on BarnesandNobles dot com. Amazon. Go on my site if you want to sign autograph copy and. And, of course, at the show itself, the VIP, I'll bring them and I'll sign them on the road. But, I mean, yeah, it's all online. It's called Tell It to My Heart. Pretty self-evident, but it was, it's was it been, you know, the journey and the exploration of, of a young girl from Long Island and, you know, who I am, what it took in, in the travels of where I am and got me here today. It's beautiful being a mom, being a, you know, a mom, single mom, actually, twins and my career, being a woman, what it took to, you know, maintain and also break through. Well, we're super excited for you to be in the Sioux Falls area tomorrow night. It's at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, and we're visiting right now with Taylor Dane. Also on the bill for tomorrow night is Tiffany. It's going to be one heck of a good show. If you don't have tickets yet, I've got a link on our Facebook page to find those, and there's not many left, so don't wait. Uh, Taylor, we will see you tomorrow night. I get to be the MC, so I'll be the one introducing you. I love it. 
I so look forward to it, guys. Amen. I love it. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks again for chatting with us. We're going to play uh, some music from you right now. And since it's also the name of your memoir, how about we do Tell It to My Heart? Wow. Go right to the beginning, babe. Go to the source. Here it is on Sunny 93.3. Thanks for listening. Again, join us tomorrow night at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort for Taylor Dane and Tiffany. Thanks for listening to Sunny. Student loan debt is now the second highest consumer debt category behind only mortgage debt. It's higher than both credit cards and auto loans. Believe it or not, the average graduate walks away with anywhere from 25000 to almost 40000 in student loans. 2% even managed to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at single singlestudentloan.com. If you only have one student loan, we may offer a better rate to help you get that paid off sooner. singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. Music there from Taylor Dane. She was really nice to chat with. You guys should have stayed in here. You guys, why do you do that? You like take off and go in the other room. Like, yeah, we have other things I to get, do. I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's time right now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Hey, what do you say? Let's go. Let's go. Celebrities are fabulous. Fabulous. But you know what? The thing is, and let's just drill down here. Sometimes, sometimes they're just not. I mean, let's just face it. Sometimes they're not. And uh, here's the latest on, on what is probably the biggest cockroach that Hollywood has produced in quite a while. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Not Har- so fabulous. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein. Now, uh, this whole thing's going to go into trial here next month. By the way, oh, okay, on the Ooh, East Coast, and he's still facing several charges on the West Coast. And regardless of what happens with him in New York, they're still trying him in L.A. too. So. Right. Okay. Yikes. His entire full time job pretty much anymore is yeah. lawyers and blah 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 you blah even blah. Imagine. But here's what happened with some of this. And again, there were multiple charges filed from multiple women because okay. he did a lot of sleazy mm. stuff somehow of, and anyway. i don't know what kind of insurance he had but somehow 25 million got ponied up oh wow as a settlement yeah what and, kind of insurance covers something like that boy good question <laughs> is it insurance or is it just his dough because it, he's it oh, said, it was insurance. It said, it said insurance. insurance company settled it said yeah. insurance Huh. Now here's the thing. Some of these ladies, it's basically look at it. Yeah, I'll settle. Give me there five million or whatever sure. the case may be. I don't know. I don't know. So it's uh, <clears throat> gotten interesting. However, and let me scroll down to the bottom of the story because I am so proud. As you know, I am of Polish heritage. Mm-hmm. And yes. that's probably about the only cool thing about me. <laughs> well, I would disagree cool with things. that. I love being Polish. Yeah. Okay, so the Weinstein Company insurers, okay, these are insurers of what used to be his company. Yeah. Okay. That's where the do re mi came from. Okay. Okay, have agreed on terms, $25 million global settlement of sexual misconduct litigation. Several accusers have opted not to participate in the settlement, including Kaja Sokola. Oh, She's a okay. Polish model who alleges Weinstein sexually assaulted her when she was just 16 years Yikes. old. And she's saying years later, no, I'm not taking any dough. I want to see this guy go. I'll be right. happy to take the witness stand. Right. So you go, my little Polish model. So she's not doing a settlement and nope. just going to be quiet. She said, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. seeing this through. Yeah, so That's let's, good. let's rock this thing, man. This guy, this guy messed me up. Think about what her share of that $25 million would be. I bet it'd be a pretty good chunk. Who knows? Who Unless, knows? Well, it depends on how many people there are. If there's and 20, there's lots. If there's 25, it'd be a million each. You want a buck 35 or do you want to go to trial? <laughs> That's true. Huh. Well, Dan, thank you very much for that report, Yeah, sir. so I got a feeling just with all the cases going on in East Coast, West Coast, man, old Harvey Baby's going to be in and out of the spotlight for probably the next couple of years, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most likely. But yeah, what a, what a sorry, sorry, sorry individual. Yeah, that's too bad. Don't do that kind of stuff. It's a bad, bad idea. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, John. <laughs> yes. John Small. Wisdom from John. Yeah, that whole don't. sexual assault thing, just don't. Just don't don't do, it. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you heard me. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny.